This is April 10th, 2017. This will be known historically as the day the construction began on the city's observatory on this beautiful Rancho Mirage Public Library campus. My name is David Bryant, I'm the library director. With me today, Mayor Ted Weil and the city's director of public works, Mark Sambito. Mark, this is a huge day for us, for the city. What are your thoughts today? You were here bright and early this morning. We were, we were here very early this morning, had the pre-con for the uh, subcontractors and all the contractors, did a real motivational speech and got them quite amped up for this. We're looking now at the very beginning of what will be our state-of-the-art observatory. So we're very excited and all the contractors are just as excited as we are, David. Fantastic. Mr. Mayor, this is kind of an exclamation point on your great year. Well, it is exciting. We've had a fabulous year and this sort of tops it off. Here we have a world-class observatory at a public library. It's unheard of. The amount of interest in this observatory is overwhelming. I can't begin to tell you how many inquiries we get on a weekly basis. Mark, this is so exciting. And David, we know what a world-class library we have already. This truly, as, as trite as it sounds, is the icing on the cake. Thank you. And just for our viewers, one of many things this observatory will do for us, we talk about lifelong learning at the library every single day. People are coming here, yes, to do some homework assignments if they're students, but most of our clientele are grown-ups. And they're, they're here because they want to learn something new. They want to read, they want to discover, they want to do research. They need our assistance in deeper Googling, if that's a term and they're just getting wiser and wiser with each visit. This observatory gives us programming opportunities that are, I think, unprecedented in any public library. And Mark, you've got a calendar in mind for this, but we're not holding you to any of that. Well, I wanna build on what you said about the observatory and the ability for it to do a lot of really great things. The quality and caliber of the equipment that the city is investing in, in this particular facility, is so high that again, it's going to be research level. So the quality of the work that it is anticipated to produce is going to be absolutely fantastic. And yes, we do have a schedule in mind and the way everything is laid out, we expect to have the grand opening for this sometime in early 2018. Fantastic. Mr. Mayor, do you think we might have the opportunity to find a planet, a new planet? I mean, NASA keeps finding them. Well, absolutely. Planet and wild. <clears throat> I don't think we'll name it quite like that. But you know, this is an example of another amenity that we provide not only our residents in Rancho Mirage, but the entire Coachella Valley. Give you an example. When I dropped off cleaning this morning, an individual stopped me to tell me that he is an astronomer, he is part of a group here in the valley, and how excited he is to be involved with this. And I said, let us know. Go to the library, turn in your name, because we're going to have a lot of people that want to be active in this area. So, David, Mark, congratulations to both of you. It's going to be a fabulous adventure for all of us. And it all, happened, it all happened because we have a visionary city council that's willing to take, this is not a big risk, but it's an exciting risk, to take these funds, to make this educational opportunity here at the library and for all who visit. By the way, we'll be broadcasting from that telescope, which is bigger than the original telescope at Mount Palomar. We'll be broadcasting into the community room behind our photographer. So, it's all going to come together, and it's all for our residents, all for the valley, as the mayor has said, and it's really about learning, all about learning. So, thank you for watching. We've got a great future ahead. We'll do these videos once in a while just to keep our population updated on RMTV. But what an exciting day, April 10th, 2017.